Wild Man's Lodge. Kick back, put your feet up, relax, take out a brewski. We're gonna give you a whole variety of good stuff. going on here got uh, let's see what we got going on we got uh, got a couple things going on I got this this deal going on here this is for a friend of mine we got uh, this is in the process it isn't quite dry yet but it's working on it got to, got to do a little uh, fine-tuning on it it's gonna be dry in a couple days or so that's gonna go on this gonna be my uh, my trapper squirrel he's gonna go in the back got a little uh, trappers basket a little traps in there got some traps here got a little uh, little axe going on got some hides here and he's gonna take to the market <laughs> we're styling a trappers hat He's sporting. That's that's a we're gonna, we're gonna secure that somehow. And there it goes. Doesn't look too bad. He's ready for action. Got himself his little uh, little gun there to take care of business. So we got that project going on. Let's see what else I got going on here. Got this thing here. This is uh, Fred Douglas gave me this. Uh, Gave me this mount here. He's uh, my my mentor. He's my uh, the guy that's teaching me uh, everything that I got here is all his. Everything that he's taught me, I'm applying. He gives me heck once in a while if I'm not in line. But uh, we're, we clean this up. This is from 1979. This is the mount that I he did the back then. Of in the morning. Bleached it out a little bit, cleaned it all up. I got a product that I use and put it on there. Straighten that out. Let's see what else I got going on here. I got this is going to be another project coming up. It's uh, sent out the uh, the hide to uh, Yoast. It's going to be a coyote carrying a uh, a dead squirrel, which they usually do. This is a beautiful uh, beautiful hide here. We'll get it uh, freshened up and get it slided on the form. Top secret, top secret stuff. I can't, uh, can't, can't give you any, uh, any insight on that because Fred said he waited 60 years to tell somebody, and I was uh, the fortunate one. We got a little jaw set that'll go in there, right in the mouth. This whole rock will end up on a on a on a wall somewhere. Something Fred uh, made, gave me some more parts. Got a. Uh, tail that you order and goes on the back here and make it do whatever you want to do it it's flexible got a nice wire in it do whatever they most likely they get they go down so tails between the legs but uh, I, don't know, I got some other projects I did back a while 
was messing around, went on the internet, picked up uh, a pattern on how to make some uh, serious mitts here. Now these bad boys here will uh, keep you nice and warm. Can't pick up a dime or anything with it or call somebody who cares, but at least uh, your hands will be nice and toasty warm. Nice uh, beaver hair inside, beaver fur, little deer hide on the outside. Got a couple things going on, so I keep busy. Keep busy with the squirrels. That's my uh, my main gig. I like uh, doing that. I really like uh, doing the deer, different deer mounts for everybody that comes and uh, got the projects going on. Uh, okay, I'm looking around. I got most of them sent. Everything's gone. It's kind of slow time of year, so other than the squirrels, we we start whacking them, throw them in the freezer. People give me a call, and I, uh, I take care of them. This guy's styling here. He's uh, he's uh, quite the quite the gadget. I took a took a chopstick and used that for that part. Did a little uh, popsicle stick action on the bottom. Got some pins here now that'll be all drying out slowly and clay. Not too many too many secrets because Fred said it's uh, just for the elite, just certain few to, to know. And a few to know. <laughs> yeah, other than that, uh, pretty much the whole show down here. Keep busy. I love it. I love it. I can't. I can't uh, thank Fred enough. I, I, there's, there's not. There's not a chance in hell that I can get it done any other way. Fred. Fred's a man. In 60 years, he's been doing it. Started when he was 20. Fred Douglas uh, started when he's 20. He's 82 now and uh, still going strong. Still got a ton of stuff going. He's a good man. I, I can't say enough about it. He's a good man. Yep. I don't know. That's about it. I got a little chipmunk action. That's, a, that's one of the forms. That's a that's a chipmunk action. That's uh he's uh he's gonna be one of the projects. He, this one might go in a in a speedboat, a remote control speedboat. I got a guy that's uh, looking for something and it should fit pretty good. And just happen to have a chipmunk laying around too. <laughs> Stock up on the goods and then people come and uh, see what I can do uh, about uh, doing different uh, different things. They challenge me. I'm, I'm putting it out there. You, you bring it to me and I'll, uh, I can I can probably do it. I, I, you know, if not, then nobody else can. <laughs> Too conceited, huh? All right. I don't know. I got uh, all kinds of goods that Fred gave me. Almost all of this is Fred stuff. Got all kinds of uh, snapping turtle claws. A little bit of everything. Keep everything. Keep everything. You never know when you're going to use it. This will this will substitute as a a good bear claw if you got one that's broken off. Got some uh, teeth. Got some bear claws. I don't know. Got a little bit of everything. Just grab it and bring it in and hang on to it. And someday it's like, hey, okay, I'll use that. This was a vest that I'm going to put on the uh, trapper. Do up a little. Put them on there. I'm not sure if I'm going to get it on there or not. Put this on the back. I don't know. Some people call me disturbed, but I'm having fun. <laughs> 